If you're a teacher working with students in K through 12 and looking to bring 3D printing into your classroom, then this video is for you. I'm Jeremy Simon with 3D Universe, and today I'll be talking to you about the MakerBot Sketch Classroom Bundle. So stay with me. Now this is a unique product. It is a bundle that includes two printers along with a variety of other materials to help you get started with 3D printing in the classroom. MakerBot designed this solution specifically with educators in mind, and I'll take you through the reasons for that in this video. First, let's talk about what this bundle includes. As I said, it includes two of the Sketch 3D printers, and we'll go into the details about that hardware later in the video. It also includes an ISTE certified program for training both teachers and students. And this certification is not only about how to use the machine itself, but also 3D printing concepts in general and design-oriented thinking, which is a valuable set of knowledge to have regardless of which 3D printing platform you end up using later on. It also includes access to MakerBot Cloud, which is a cloud-based solution for managing all of your print jobs. So students can slice and set up their print jobs using this cloud-based interface and submit them for review by the teacher, who can then send them to the printers, monitor them remotely, and get notifications when they're completed. So let's talk about exactly what's in this bundle. When you get the Sketch Classroom Bundle, it includes two Sketch Desktop 3D printers, access to MakerBot Cloud, two teacher certification licenses, 10 student certification licenses, six spools of MakerBot PLA filament, four of the removable flexible build plates, two spatulas, and two pairs of snips. Now, in addition to these hardware components, you also get access to over 600 lesson plans that are STEAM and STEM aligned, organized by grade level and subject area. So you'll have no problem getting going with this 3D printer. The most common thing that we hear from educators once they manage to get a 3D printer into the classroom is, okay, now what do we do with it? Where do I find meaningful curriculum materials that will help us to incorporate these 3D printers into our lesson plans in a meaningful way? And MakerBot has made that really easy. So let's talk more about the hardware. The printer itself is designed to be used with MakerBot PLA and Tough materials, which is a tough PLA type material. Now the MakerBot PLA and Tough filaments are both NIOSH certified for safety, which is pretty unusual for 3D printing materials and nice to have when you're printing in a classroom environment. Now, on top of that, these printers are fully enclosed and do include a particulate air filter, so you have an additional level of containment and protection there. Overall, it's a machine that I would feel very comfortable running in the back or off to the side in any classroom environment. And by the way, it's one of the quietest 3D printers I've tested, so you'll hardly notice it even when it's running, thanks in part to that fully enclosed build. Now, the sketch does include a heated build plate, which is a welcome addition. You can print PLA and tough PLA without a heated build plate, but having that heat there absolutely helps to ensure better layer adhesion and helps your prints to stick to the bed more reliably. So it's great to see that they included that. It has a standard 0.4 millimeter extruder, and as I said before, it's designed to work with MakerBot PLA and tough materials, which are easily fed through the side loaded system that they have. The loading process is very easy and it guides you through each step of the way. There's no leveling required. Everything is ready to use right out of the box, and I found every print to be consistently reliable in terms of print bed adhesion and the kind of quality that I was getting. I didn't have a single failed print through the entire testing process. The touchscreen leaves a little bit to be desired. It's not quite as responsive as I'd like, and because of the smaller size, when you get to the alphabet screen, like for example, when you're trying to type in your Wi-Fi password, it's actually split between two pages. So in order to get between page one and two of the alphabetic characters, you have to use those arrows at the bottom of the screen, and the one that goes back to page one from page two is positioned right next to the arrow that cancels out of the entire operation, which I hit accidentally more than once. So there are some improvements that could be made to the touch panel interface. Having said that, you really only need to use the touch panel for the initial setup. Once you have your Wi-Fi configured, you can do pretty much everything that you need through the cloud print platform. Okay, so this is one of my favorite sample prints because it prints everything in place. This is a platform jack. All the parts are printed in place without supports, such that when you take it off the build plate, if everything printed correctly, it should work 
right off the build plate like this. Now that is a pretty challenging thing to do. You have to leave precise gaps between all of these moving parts so that they can move as they should. And I have to say, the sketch did a pretty nice job with this. There were a couple of minor flaws in the surface, but uh, overall quality was certainly more than acceptable and uh, pretty impressive with regards to the tolerances between those, those moving parts there. Well, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notifications for our future videos. See you next time.